Black or cappuccino? Ask her out or not? Bachelor's degree or online business? Mac or Windows? Pineapple or no pineapple? New iPhone or holiday? Some of these are hard choices. What if you could use simple math to decide what you want? Really. Some decisions are easy. I like black coffee instead of cappuccino, and that's that. But there are those annoying ones that have so many factors that go into it, like which degree to pursue, to drop out or not. Like, how do you know? Each option has many pros and cons, and then there are your emotions and other people telling you things, but you don't want to disappoint them. Enter the weighted decision matrix. Yep, that's the name. You can do this on a piece of paper or Google Sheets to make it easier. Skip one column, enter factor. Enter name of first decision. Skip one, enter name of the second decision. And you can do this with however many things you're choosing from. In the factors column, write down all the things that are influencing your decision. This can be long AF. Next, leaving your emotional attachment aside and thinking as logically as possible, assign a 0 to 10 score to each factor for every decision. So I put 10 in the safetyness for the degree because it's pretty safe going to college and 3 for online business because it's pretty risky starting a business. Or making friends is 8 in college because it's easier than making them sitting at home. You get the point. Now make sure that for all the factors, 10 means the best and 0 means the worst. For example, if a factor is named cost, then 10 would mean there's no cost at all, it's the best cost, and 0 would mean that it's expensive AF. Name the first column factor weight. This is where you will enter in how important this factor is for you from 0 to 10. Again, here think with as little emotions as possible. For example, I don't care about my living situation, so I'm gonna put a 3, and I care a lot about my happiness, so I put 10. Name a column after each decision weighted score. Type equals, click on factor weight, times and then your score for the decision. Drag down to apply to every row. Then for the next decision, equals and factor weight times the other decision's score. Come down to the bottom of the weighted score column, type equals, sum, open bracket, select the numbers in that column and enter. Do the same for the other weighted score. And boom, that's it. Whichever score is higher, that's your decision. For me, it's starting an online business instead of going to college. Of course, if you don't like the decision that this math thing spit out for you, then you probably already made up your mind in the first place. It just helped you realize it. You don't have to listen to it. I will leave this template in the description so you don't have to do any work creating it yourself. Also, if you're enjoying this video, I'm sure that you'll enjoy my free email awesome self-improvement newsletter. I send it out once a month with a financial tip, some cool websites I discovered, or inspiring quotes from a book I'm reading. You can read it completely completely for free in the description or subscribe to it by entering your email and you'll get it for free every month inside your inbox. I hope this was useful to someone out there and I'll see you in the next one.